Hi guys, this will be basically chronicling for you guys the tools and some pitfalls that you may run into when you're installing a performance spoiler or any spoiler on one of these Mopars. Mine is this Hellcat. As you can see, I've already got the spoiler off of the car. So what do we have here? Well, some alcohol, some scrapers, 10 millimeter, because of course, screwdriver, I would prefer some really long pliers. If you have some pliers that are meant for getting big hooks out of fish, that's the best one to go with. One of the uh, pop rivet pullers, some touch up paint, some adhesive removal, some flat black spray paint, and a light. Now, this is the factory spoiler, and there are some things that I wanted to bring to your attention real quick before we get started on this install. First of all, these all have some level of adjustment to them. So you're gonna need something kind of like this, something long and skinny to where when you're installing it, you can get in there and move those things around to where they line up on the holes. And just for reference, these are the holes that I'm talking about. This will be where your threaded bolt or threaded portion will go in. These are where those tabs would go in. And this big hole is where the wiring for the camera goes in. You can see how it mounts up. I think you get the idea. Now, because it's just these two bolts that are bolting the spoiler to the trunk, there are some tricks that you're gonna need to employ to get this spoiler off the car. And those tricks are primarily because of these bad boys right here. These clips are no joke. There's four of them, two almost right in the middle and two halfway between them and the bolts. My finger is next to this one to give you a reference for size. And if you see how they're popping out like that, like an arrowhead, when these things lock into place, they do not want to let go. This is the level of accessibility to those things. To give you an idea, there's the back side of the trunk lid. To get to one of the furthest outside points, it's way over there. Very hard to get to. This is why you'll need something like a screwdriver when this is installed to get in there and try to get at least one of these wings to compress. Obviously, there's no way to film doing this. There's absolutely no way to do it. But if you had some small pliers that were really long, like I mentioned, those hook getter outers, that might be a lot easier. In this case, you'll be pressing in on the sides of these things, just hoping to get one of them to release. So after removing the 10 millimeter bolts from either side of that trunk lid, you're going to need to have something to wedge underneath that spoiler and it'll just slide in to put tension on that spoiler to where those clips that I was just talking to you about here and here so that when you put tension on those clips it'll allow it to pop up a little bit. Now be careful because you will potentially scratch up this area of your trunk here and here because this portion of that wing will be sticking out from the car. So the factory has these little nipples that affix onto the bottom. You'll have to take those off to get the nut off, but it'll also help to protect your paint there. I'd also recommend putting a microfiber towel underneath it as well. Now, when it comes to the adhesive pads that are holding this thing on, they are really stout. I've heard of people talking about using fishing line to get those things to come off. Uh, I end up using the wedge and just basically, well, for lack of a better way of putting it, just kind of hacked my way through a couple of them and then more or less deadlifted the thing off of the car. You might be able to get some kind of fishing line to work, but I really don't know if it would work that well you guys have done it and had some success with it more power to you but this stuff is incredibly thick 
You could probably get something like 20 pound test to work. If you're talking fishing line, but yeah, that stuff, absolutely no joke. Also, the reason why I mentioned that can of spray paint is if you're up in here while that trunk is, or while the spoiler is up in there and you up in here with a screwdriver or something, trying to get those tabs to release, there's a real good chance you're gonna scratch up some stuff underneath your trunk. You would never see it, but if you scratched any of the coating underneath there, you're gonna to wanna to hit it with that spray paint just to make sure you don't have a potential rusting issue. Just make sure you cover your holes with some blue painter's tape so that that spray doesn't come out of here and get on your finish. Although it's gonna be covered with a spoiler, so does it really matter? Maybe not, but it's a step that I took. Installation is unbearably simple. If you've made it to this point, you'll know that installing this spoiler is simply removing the tape protectors off of the tape, just taking that red stuff off, lining up the holes and sitting it down. And there you have it. One performance spoiler installed. Now's a good time to mention, I don't know of any torque specs for these nuts, but just a little bit of wrench is all you need. Just snug them down. Last but not least, one of the added benefits to having this spoiler is the fact that it does tilt down and you can see that you will be able to see your bumper. So if you're backing up and you're getting close to something, it's a lot easier to tell how close you are with this new spoiler. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helps you out. That's a wrap for this one.